Tonight, the mayor of Fairview, who engaged in a political campaign for a board commissioner, is no longer working for him, but not before some members of the community contacted Fox 17 News complaining about it. They say she crossed ethical lines, but did she? Fox 17 News Amanda Chen sits down with the mayor of Fairview, and Amanda, as we understand it, she was on the commission candidate's political team, if you would, until you called asking about it. That's right. On October 11th, I sent an email to the city of Fairview questioning Mayor Lisa Anderson's role as a campaign treasurer for board commissioner candidate Stuart Johnson. The mayor confirmed to me she removed herself as the campaign treasurer on that same day, about two hours after I reached out to the city of Fairview questioning her position. She did sit down to talk with me as I worked to find out whether she breached ethics or not. Lisa Anderson, Fairview's mayor for the last two years. I've lived here over 30 years. I love this community and um, I just saw a need for, you know, a mayor that would be available. Fox 17 News confirmed Mayor Lisa Anderson was listed as a campaign treasurer for Stuart Johnson. Johnson is running to be on the board of commissioners, which the mayor oversees. As mayor, do you believe that's an ethical approach that you can take? Do you have any uh, documentation to substantiate that I can't do that? I do. According to the Fairview Charter, neither the city manager, recorder, city judge, chief of police, nor any person in the employ of the city under any of such officers shall take any active part in or contribute any money toward the nomination or election of any candidate for election to the Board of Commissioners. I find that not listing me. I'm an elected official. I'm not a city employee. But you do get paid and you fill out a W-2, correct? Probably do, but I'm not a city employee. I'm an elected official. If you get paid and fill out a W-2, I, I think people would consider you an employee, no? No, I'm not an employee. I'm, our board is over the city manager who's over the employees. We at Fox 17 checked. First, with the Fairview City Attorney. He does not consider Anderson a city employee. Fox 17 News then contacted the Internal Revenue Service. Internal Revenue Code 3401C indicates that an officer, employee, or elected official of government is an employee for income tax withholding purposes. So, did Anderson cross a line? Dr. Davia Downey, a political scientist at the University of Memphis, read the Fairview Charter. She agrees it does not include the mayor, but Downey believes there can be valid ethical concerns with an elected official signing on as a campaign treasurer while publicly endorsing that candidate. There is something that binds people who are <laughs> running for office, who currently serve in office, saying something in support of another person's campaign. Um, and then also when you add in the additional aspect of the fact that they're serving as treasurer, I think ethically there may be some question about that. We dug further. Dr. Fred Gordon has more than 20 years of experience as a political scientist specializing in ethics at East Tennessee State University. It would raise some eyebrows. I think at some level there's concern because one of the things you want to do is instill within the public confidence that, you know, everything is above board and that there's 100% transparency and there's no preferential treatment. What would you say to those who feel this raises concerns about transparency and accountability? I am always transparent. I'm more, I, I'm here. And that, that right there is being transparent. The mayor says she's here to serve her community and she says voters know it. But were ethical lines legally crossed? It seems according to the charter, they were not. However, the mayor removing herself from the commissioner candidate campaign suggests a decision on her part to take a step back. Reporting in the studio, I'm Amanda Chin, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.